What is up guys, it is Tony here and today we are showing you another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial and today we're going to be showing you color correction without Magic Bullet looks. We'll be doing another one with Magic Bullet looks showing you to get the best results on Final Cut Pro but today we're just doing it without it, nothing special, we're just going to drag it into the timeline as usual and I'm going to turn down the audio because I don't like audio, it just makes me mad. There we go, nice, no audio. Now I'm happy. Okay, so let's find like a good point, like right here, where you can kind of see what's going on in the clip. And let's go into our effects browser. Now, I have a lot of custom effects that you get from plugins. If you guys want some of these plugins that I have, you can go ahead and subscribe. And once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'll have a huge editing pack with all of my effects, and you'll be able to use all those. And, it, you know, it's costed me a lot of money, so it's definitely worth subscribing to try to get all those effects. Um, but for now, we'll just keep to the basic effects that you get with Final Cut. Now, um, depending on the map and depending on what type of color correction you want, you want to change it up a little bit. So first off, we're going to start off with a hardcore dubstep or epic type edit, um, something like that along the lines of that. What I like to always start off with is saturation. It really brightens up the colors. It adds a lot of color to the map. It looks really good on maps like Bog where it's very bland. And um, it's very important to have a lot of colors showing up or else the uh, effects won't, you know, be used to the fullest advantage. So let's start off with like a hardcore edit type thing. Hard light will give you this nice, um, darker, but still colorful type of effect. And it's almost good enough to be like a hardcore edit. Um, and you can also, you know, change it up a bit. You can turn down your saturation a little bit and you can make it a little more bleak or you can turn it up and make it look like almost like a frag movie. Um, you mess around with that a little bit. Um, also, adding crisp contrast is cool, um, but it really will dark up your uh, clip a lot. So you want to kind of turn up your saturation maybe or turn up uh, your value, which will give you a little bit more lights. But, uh, yeah, contrast is pretty good too. You can mess around with that. Uh, let's take all these off now. And hard light, okay. Uh, if you go ahead and you look for, um, let's go with Vibrancy, it'll brighten it up a little bit. And then you go to, I'm going to go to All real quick and search around for what I'm looking for. Um, you can go ahead and add Bleach Bypass, which will give you like a really like black and white, more bleak type of color, which is also good for hardcore edits. Um, you can also do, I believe it's under Looks. Yes, I think it is. Yes, looks. You get combat, and combat will add your brown, hardcore CC type look. And uh, if you really want to have that cool hardcore look, uh, you definitely want to go with vignette. Uh, vignette will give you that nice, darkened edges type look, you can see. And you can also adjust that if you want with this tool here. I'm not going to do that right now because I feel like I'm going to mess up something. <laughs> um, so let me get rid of that and that. And then the other uh, look that's pretty cool for hardcore edits definitely is um, Heat Wave, if I could find that. Not, all, not exactly hardcore edits, but yeah, hardcore edits can work. But I like doing this for like epic edits or promos. It looks really nice. Um, so you can go ahead and do that. Um, okay, so now we're going to show you chill edits. Um, for chill edits, I, I like doing Glory a lot. Glory adds like this kind of like motion blur and it also adds a kind of like a glow that kind of goes outwards, which is pretty cool. And if you add uh, a good effect, I usually add one that I paid for, um, but you can add like Romantic is pretty good. That adds an edge blur. And then you do Glory. That looks pretty cool. And if you really want to get it like overdone, you can do Dream. And that just really gives you this really, really strong color correction where the outsides are really blurry. And you can also, uh, maybe maybe you might want to turn down a few things. Turn off Vibrancy and maybe turn off, I have two Romantics, I don't know why. Uh, turn off Glory maybe, and that looks a little bit better. So maybe just Romantic and uh, Hue Saturation and Glory and Dream. You always want to have your uh, Hue Saturation on because, that, like I said earlier, it'll just make the colors pop really well. And that's what really what you're looking for, uh, 9 times out of 10. So we're going to try to get all these things off real quick until we back to the hue and saturation. Um, you can also uh, mess with some of these really like interesting ones. 
I used to use this a lot. This is like for hardcore or epic edits. Um, you can mess around with that. That's very cool. Um, that's actually a really nice looking one. It's a very... I've actually seen ones that kind of look like that on uh, on uh, Magic Bolt Look. So I'm going to add Heat Wave to this. You can see, you just got to really mix them up. But uh, like always, like I said earlier, you always want to start off with Andy Young. Or Andy Young. <laughs> that's what I usually use. You always want to start off with Hue Saturation, which is pretty much like Andy Young, which is the, which is this Levels Alpha thing. It's kind of like that, except um, it's a little bit, little bit different. So I like uh, adding alpha sometimes, which basically just, you know, changes up the colors, kind of brightens up some things. It kind of almost makes it all like the same color scheme, which is pretty good, um, which is what saturation kind of does too. Um, some other effects that you can mess around with are radial. I kind of like radial, and it looks kind of crappy at this point, but if you turn down the amount, just the right amount, it kind of gives this like kind of motion blur type feel. And if you add um, some saturation onto that, and maybe some different things you can mess around with, like contrast. Uh, it looks really cool. Like this right here just looks really nice. And uh, really, that's the trick to it. Just mess around with a bunch of different uh, effects, and you can really get a nice little thing. Now, the uh, next thing that I'd like to touch on are overlays. Now, of course, these, once again, will be in my editing pack. And you can also find them online if you look around. You can probably find someone else's editing pack with, with some of these overlays. Some of them I have are custom, or I found somewhere that wasn't an editing pack so it might not be as easy to find but these overlays are really cool for adding uh, you know different types of color corrections now uh, film burns are kinda of fun to play with uh, just look up film burns anywhere you can probably find some of them film burns are really fun to play with so I'll show you some of them so that one's a little too extreme this one's kinda nice Now, if you add a film burn and you come down to the bottom here you can mess around with the uh, the uh, you know choices and if you choose overlay that's the best way to go ahead and do it and you can see it adds like this really nice color um, now the thing is okay that's fine now let's go ahead and uh, I recommend when you're using overlays to turn off any other color corrections you have on because they may make it too dark if you know what I mean so we'll just look at it like this that looks pretty good as is uh, it gets really dark at the end there. So what I would do is once it gets dark, you know, when you're messing with overlays, delete that, and then, you know, copy it, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it. And you can just keep pasting it over and over, and you can get that color correction throughout, and you can kind of add it. And if you want, uh, you can use this tool here where they snap together. And I recommend snapping a bunch of them together. If you want to add, like, a really big loop of these things. So you get the color correction throughout the whole edit. You can just drag across, select all, and then hit new compound clip. And when you do that, oh, I'm going to have to redo the add, or overlay, rather. And when you do that, you get this really long clip, and you can copy that and paste that. And you can keep doing that over and over. And now we have the whole clip covered with this uh, little bit of like a glowy type thing. And that, that works well, film burns, of course. Now, there's other things you can do. You can find other overlays online. Um, I'll show you a few other ones that I have. I believe I have one that's called Glow. Yes, Glow. So we'll import this. And where is it? It's up here. Okay. So you got some of these like this that you can add some overlays. So this is a, ch a cheap way to get around uh, buying Magic Bullet looks or getting Magic Bullet looks. Well, you know, whatever, whatever you do. And this kind of looks, this looks really cool. I mean, this adds like a color correction and has like a kind of a glow effect. And I didn't even add any effects onto my original footage. So this is really nice. Really, really nice. Or did I have an effect on? No, I didn't have any effects on. So this looks really, really good. I almost thought for a second I had a video effect on. And you can mess around with those. You can get overlays. Uh, if you want to get my overlays, go ahead and sub. And when I hit 1,000 subscribers, we'll have out the full editing pack and you can go ahead and check my channel and make sure uh, you get all those uh, overlays and, and sound effects and all that stuff that I'm going to add into that. But that's pretty much how you do color correction without Magic Bullet looks. It's pretty basic. Just mess around with these things a little bit. Um, see what you can do. I used to do it a lot, and I came out with some pretty good color corrections nine times out of ten. So you can really mess around with it. Try out overlays. Overlays are pretty good, too. I never had my hand at that, but they're, you know, to most people, 
Some people really like them, so you can try those out too. That's pretty much it. I am Tony, and I'll see you guys next time.